Hi, I'm Lou and today I'm going to show you how to install a frequency meter on your generator. This little meter was only $15 on Amazon and you just plug it right into the power. We'll demonstrate how it works with a simple cutoff lamp cord plugged in here and tightened down here. And when we plug it in, it says we have 123 volts at 60 hertz. We want to mount it on that panel so we'll take it off with those nuts. There are two here, two on the other end, and unfortunately two in the middle. There's the panel and you can see it's not completely free, but free enough that we can cut a hole right here to put in the meter. If you decide it's too much work to mount it on the panel, you could just leave it on the cheater cord and plug it in there, but we'll press on. All right, so we know we want to put it right in there. So I'll drill a small hole through to the front. Looks like the hole on our panel needs to be two and a half by one and a half. There's our corner hole and I've covered this with blue tape so it'll be easier to see when we draw our pattern. There's our pattern and we'll cut it out with an angle grinder. There's our hole and here's our meter. Polarity doesn't matter so I have a black and white wire attached to the meter and I'll attach these to the black and white sides of the outlet. Here we are all buttoned back up. We'll get it running and switch to generator power. It looks like we're running a little high and I'm burning natural gas so I'll adjust that a little bit to get us back to 60. Thanks for watching and see the links below for my other generator videos.